Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 episode. Now in today's episode, I'm going to actually be showing you guys the location of five different armor pieces that you guys can go ahead and pick up. They are all going to be legendary items that you can, you can get completely for free in today's episode. And they're actually going to be five items that actually have to deal with the head. So if you guys are looking for something else, I will be showcasing those in separate videos. So if you guys are wanting to know where I found the pants or the shoes or even this little vest right here, then I definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and check out some of my other videos that I'll be having in a little bit. However, if you guys are interested in knowing where I got the Satori and also the Divided We Stand iconic weapons, make sure that you guys go ahead and check out my previous videos because I've already leased videos about them and how to get them, specifically the Satori, after the fact, if you missed it the first time around when you can actually get it later in the game, which I actually just released the other day. The Divided We Stand I released a little bit further ago. I do have another few sets of legendary items out on the channel as well, so if you're looking for something else, I'm going to be showcasing a lot of things here in the very near future. But anyway, before we get into today's episode, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure that you guys go ahead and share these videos with everyone that you know and everywhere that you possibly can, because ultimately I would really like to help out as many people as possible find the things that they're looking for here in Cyberpunk 2077. So if that's something that you can relate to and if or if you enjoy these videos and other people you know that would really like them make sure that you guys go ahead and share it would definitely help me out and is greatly appreciated because eventually i want to be able to do giveaways here on the channel and that's exactly how we're going to be able to do that so anyway let's go ahead and dive into the different armor pieces that you guys are actually going to get in today's episode and then show you guys where and how you can actually get them and depending on different uh, abilities that you might need in order to obtain these specific uh legendary items so the first one that we're actually going to go over is the one that I'm wearing, which is the Cushioned Techie Baseball Cap. You can see that it has an armor of 37.4, and then the mod slot that mine came with is at a 6.5 bonus for high threat enemies and also moderate threat enemies. So that's kind of my boost. Now, if you guys didn't know this, and I wish I would have known this because I had picked up these items quite a while back. I'm just making the video about them now. You can actually save your game prior to picking up these items and you will be presented with a different potential um, mod of the, the clothing. So just bear that in mind. So if you want something that's a little bit different than what I have, there is a chance that you actually might receive that if you save your game and basically load into it if it's not exactly what you were looking for. So 37.4 for that specific baseball cap, which for a baseball cap, is not that bad. The second item that we're actually going to go after today, now these are in no specific order. I'm not going to show them in this specific order, but this will be another item that you'll get. This one has two available slots on it, as you can see here. And that does have only have an armor of 30.8, so it's a little bit more of a decrease compared to the baseball cap itself. But it is the media baseball cap with a reactive layer. And this mod slot specifically increases the max oxygen by 11.5. So if you guys need that for whatever reason, then you can keep that. I guess I wish I'd have known about the save trick and then the load trick because I probably would have never gone after the max oxygen personally, but that's just me. Um, the next item that we're actually going to go over is the aviators. I've actually had a lot of people asking me where I actually obtained these, and that's actually what I'm going to showcase in today's episode. So we're going to go after the scratch resistant polarized rocker aviators for an armor of 36.9 with a bonus to high threat and moderate threat enemies of five percent absolutely amazing it only has that one mod slot so if you can get a better mod than what i got then congratulations and i hope you guys the best now this one i actually got a legendary with a legendary mod which awesome but this is another one that we're going to be going after in today's episode armored media aquaset with camera and that is at 17.4 but it has a legendary crit chance of 15% better. So that is kind of worth it. If you guys want a little bit more of a crit chance versus the armor, it's kind of up to you. But it does have over less than half of the armor that the, the aviators actually have. And then last but not least, the last one we're going to go over is the technical hybrid glass corporate glasses. And that has an armor of 36.7. So it's just slightly worse than the aviators but it does have the exact same buffer on it which is that five percent against the high threat enemies and then the five percent with the moderate threat enemies as well so those are the five items that we're going to be going after in today's episode so let's go ahead and dive into it right now <laughs> 